hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to discuss about the models for ambiguity resolution so before getting started with this video i would like to request you all that if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and if you are already a subscriber then please do watch whole video and hit the like button so now let's get started for ambiguity resolution so what is mean by ambiguity ambiguity means that the word you will be having the same word but with different meanings right so in order to resolve this ambiguity in a particular sentence you will be having three models for it the first one is pcfg that stands for probability context free grammar the other is generative model and the third is discriminative model in this particular video we are going to discuss about uh, pcfg in the other videos we are going to discuss about uh, generative and discriminative model so now let's discuss about what is probability context free grammar so this pcfg is a statistical model for parsing natural language so what we are going to do this with P pcfj is first we are going to parse the natural language you know what is parsing right and then it is an extension of cfg by assigning the probabilities to production rules See, this is an extension of CFG. That is nothing but it is an extension of context-free grammar. So what is the difference between this context-free grammar and PCFJ? In PCFG, you are going to assign the probabilities to the production rules. Okay. So why it is why it is used for it is used for the ambiguity resolution. PCFG is used for ambiguity resolution. So there are different steps you need to follow in order to or do pcfg i mean in order to resolve the ambiguity by using pcfg so the first step is define a set of production rules which specify how sentences are formed from constituent parts the first thing you have to do is you have to define some set of production rules production rules you know right i have already said that s tends to np vp so that is nothing but production rules right np and vp these are nothing but the production rules. First, you have to de define this production rules. Why you are going to define this pr production rules is in order to specify how the sentences are formed from the constituent parts. The second point is train this PCFG model with the text. During training, assign production rules with probability. So first thing, while you are going, while you train the PCFG model with the examples or with the text, you have to assign the probabilities to the production rules. So how we are going to assign is you are going to use this particular formula. So what is this formula? Probability equals to frequency of the rule by total number of times the non-terminal appears in training data. What is non-terminal? Whatever uh, like the symbols that are present in the left hand side of the production rules those are nothing but the non-terminals and what is the frequency of rule you have to mention so how many times you are going to use that particular rule in the given sentence is nothing but the frequency of rule the third one after you find the probabilities you have to find the third point is you have to find the different pass trees for the given sentence you have to find the different pass trees for the given sentence. So at the last last step you have to do is you have to find the best pass tree from the different pass trees that you have found in the third step. You have to find the best pass tree in the fourth step. So this is about the probability context free grammar. So in the next video, I'm going to discuss about the other models for ambiguity resolution. Thank you. So if you want to uh, get any uh, regular updates about the video uploads, then please do join our Telegram channel. And we also introduced uh, the Telegram chat so you can join it. So you can share the PDFs of any particular subject in that chat. Thank you.